you made that distinction that you're the bad guy, and like I wasn't trying to get her off the stage. <laughs> Look at me. I got her off the stage for this fucking garbage pile. Dude, all right, whatever, man. Like, I'm new to Michigan, and I still don't know how to dress for winter. Like, I just feel like every layer that I add, I just look more and more homeless. Like, 90% of the time I put this jacket on, there's just a flask in here that I forgot about. I'm warm, though. I was hanging outside this coffee shop, uh, talking to my friend, and, you know, I was getting really into this conversation, had my last couple su sips of coffee in this hand, you know, talking over here, and some lady walks by and drops 43 cents in the rest of my fucking cup. It's not even gonna give me another coffee, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, I'm from the, the Southwest, and there's no seasons down there. So, like, fall and winter is a whole new thing for me. Like, my favorite part is watching the, the leaves change all these fucking beautiful colors and fly through the air. It's magical to me still. So I did what I think you're supposed to do is like, you rake them all up, right? Like I skipped the bagging part and I just put them back in the back of my truck and I drove the fuck away to watch them all fly through the air again. Dude, fall came twice for me that year. It was good. <laughs> Oh, best spot to be doing comedy, check drop. <laughs> it's cool. I don't have any friends here, so I definitely lost the, uh, the audience vote. It's all right, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't, dude, be, being an unknown comic at, that, at like this level in my career, <laughs> like it, it, it's weird. I, I gotta do every stage time that I can fucking get, you know? Sometimes I'll show up to a show there and there's like no microphone. <laughs> Stage is behind a wall or whatever. <laughs> it sucks. Like how, like how do I train for professional shows? I've done one pro show and it felt a lot like being called up to the NBA, but I learned how to play basketball with a fucking cantaloupe. <laughs> that shit bounces? God damn. Yeah, that's all wrong. A treat. <laughs> I was at a coffee shop uh, working on a joke. That's like like an okay place to you know get work done. It's a great place to have somebody try and like squeeze past you in the wall and just wipe their dick across your back. Dude, go the fuck around, man. Go around, please. <laughs> So I'm at this coffee shop working on jokes, and the barista is like, "Oh, are you a writer? Yeah, like, you must be a writer." It's like, like I don't consider myself a writer. Like, like I'm a writer in the same way that the dude across from me, underlining parts of the Bible, is a historian. <laughs> like, you're gonna find something new. Like, if that shit's not written on a throw pillow, you should be crossing that out. That's where I read my Bible verses. Throw pillows and misspelled tattoos. They're all the fucking good ones. Two claps, I did it. <laughs> no, please. But yeah, so she insisted that I shareth one of the last things that I had wroteth. Because that's how I imagine Shakespeare speaks with that weird doily around his neck or whatever that thing is. <laughs> At the time, one of the last things I wrote down was, uh, today a dude put both his hands in my mouth. <laughs> Which is an observation, because I went to go see a new dentist for the first time, and he just strolls in wearing plain street clothes. That could have been the guy from chair four who just got bored and mosey on over. You know, fake it till you make it, bud. <laughs> Dick. You guys ever wonder why jazz is so mellow? It's because it's the past tense of jizz. Man, I'm tired. <laughs> I 
I, I heard a famous jazz musician say that, uh, you know, jazz is all about the notes that you don't play. And if that applies to stand-up comedy, then... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> End scene. <laughs> But yeah, Michigan and all it's got to offer is fucking new, like, like going over the border to Canada, fucking different world over there, man. <laughs> like, <clears throat> dude, I, I still don't, I still can't get their money system right. And also, do you know that there's an ongoing debate whether or not their money smells like maple syrup? <laughs> Legit. <laughs> Look it up, please. <laughs> like... Like, that's their government conspiracy. Like, hey, let's, let's make the money smell like syrup and not tell them. <laughs> but I, so, yeah, I'm, a, I'm over there on a Monday night at a bar. Because look at me. And, you know, I asked the bartender, I was like, hey, what, you know, what's an appropriate tip on a beer? And the dude goes, oh, a loony or a toony? Am I playing a fucking game here, man? The only thing I brought is a Jungus or a Fraggle Do. Fraggle Don't? Uh. Alright, one well, last thing that I noticed there is like the crosswalk signs are very different between here and Canada. Like if you look at the American one, it's the classic, you know, face towards the ground. Like back just being broken down by consumerism. That third divorce, second mortgage. Like, he had a hand, but it fell off. Just gotta go. The Canadian one, though, dude, it's like this. Just like, foot out. It's Canada. I'm Bart Dangus. Appreciate you guys. Good night.